Have you ever wondered how an epen test attracts insects? What do they see when they look at a pitcher plant? So today we'll talk about UV light. Hi, my name is Remy and I love Nippon Tess. So today we'll talk about what an insect sees when he look at a Nippon Tess. But first, let's be clear. Uh, I'm talking about the insect Nippon Tess attract to eat. I'm not talking about pest that is attracted by a plant because the pest will eat the plant. So, just the, the prey. We'll start by the peristome, then we'll talk about the nectar glands under the leaves and then the nectar glands that are everywhere on the plant. Let's be clear, I'm not a scientist uh, or a biologist. No, no, I'm just a logic person that tries to understand the, what's happening. So uh, I read a lot of books, I watch a ton of videos, I use my critical thinking. Also, it's my logic to understand why did the plant uh, evolve this way? Why is there some nectar glands uh, on the stem? What is the goal? If I was to build this, why I would do that? So that's just the way I uh, try to understand. And all the pictures that you will see were provided by somebody else. So it's not from me. I don't have the, the tools or even the knowledge to do that. So all of us uh, love a good uh, peristome. That's uh, almost why we love Nepenthes. Each peristome, each species, it, each hybrid is different. So that's really a uh, great plant, but that's what we see. Insects see it differently. For what I heard, uh, the insect will see the UV orange and uh, are most sensitive to blue light and the peristome will tend to absorb all the UV and uh, boons back a, a bright blue, which helps to attract the insect. So to really understand the world uh, as they see it, we have to kind of uh, transform ourselves, our eyes, into insects. Let's start by the peristome. So as you know, that's the big uh, lips where a lot of nectars are just uh, beside the entry of the pitcher, the, the trap. So if an insect go there, then it may fall. So here is what we see and now what see an insect. As you see, it's totally different. And uh, the bright blue again on the peristome will be the part that attract the most the insect. Here is another one, Rubcantly Eye. It's really, really obvious that the peristome is where the plants want the insect to come. If we zoom in, uh, it's really obvious that uh, like a light, a bright blue light that will attract. And even on pictures that don't have a bright peristome, when you turn that on UV, it's really bright. So it doesn't depend on the color of the peristome, but more the way the peristome reacts to UV. And every detail will show on the UV. It's really impressive. Look at the teeth. So now let's talk about the nectar glands, the way the plants attract insects. Come on. Hey, come here. I got something good for you. Come on. Come on over. I have a little bite. I have something to nosh. So under the lids, uh, you have always the nectar glands and uh, they don't really show, but if you turn that on UV, then it's pretty obvious. Fantastic picture, right? Look at that. It's really like stars. The plants really want to show where the nectar is, forcing the insect to be upside down, just above the pit. And there is other nectar glands uh, everywhere, on the leaves, on the stem, on the pitcher, everywhere. Not always easy to spot for us, but for insects, it's pretty obvious. It's really like a light bulb. And even if you clean this nectar, the glands under will still be bright. So the question is why the plants will provide nectar uh, everywhere, not only where she can eat. Well, this is a regular plant, and if I turn on UV with the nectar glands is pretty obvious. 
and if I really only show the nectar glands, then you clearly see uh, there is a path where the plant is trying to bring the insect. If you want to learn more about the nectar glands, how to not confuse them with a pest attack, here is a video for you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, that's always helping, and until next time, happy growing!